Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds uh, They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thought I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Hi guys! Some of you know that I get a car accident on Monday Today is Thursday Um. I was in the hospital for three days. Um, they bring me to the hospital because um, I, after the accident, I cannot move. Like I cannot move uh, to the right or to the left. So uh, I was with a hard pain in my head, in my neck, and in my back until my lower back. So they called the ambulance. Um, I don't know how was the crash. Like I know that somebody hit us in the back, but I don't know why it happened because uh, I was in a stop getting to the highway and it has supposed that if you get to that point, you had to go in a slow speed, kind of like probably between 40 and 20. And the car that crashed me was uh, kind of like 80 speed. Um, I was really surprised why this car crashed me if I was even normal. Of I was in a stop sign. I was trying to get into the highway and I don't know how he didn't see me if I was kind of like for, I was for long. I was for long there waiting to get into the highway because the highway was really busy. Anyway, they bring me to the hospital in the hospital, they do uh, several tests in my head, in my neck, in my spine. Um, they told me that they found uh, a bleeding in my brain. 
So because they found a bleeding in my brain, I had to stay in the hospital. They had to wash me, give me some medicine for scissors, scissors, uh, it's convulsiones. Um, um, also they had to do uh, like, they do like three more uh, tests, like every six hours they tell me to see if the bleed was keep bleeding, like I was, uh, uh, how you say, like develop, developing, like it, it keeps bleeding or it is stopped. So, uh, also, I was with a lot of pain in my right side, in my neck, in the right side of my head, um, in my lower back. Uh, so they decided to do more tests in my, in my neck because I was complaining about pain. They told me that my spine was okay, that I don't have any fracture, but they sus suspect that I was having any trouble with my um, nerves in my, in my neck. So they, uh, well, I, I, I jumped this part. They do that, and then when they found the bleeding in my brain, they told me that they had to move to another hospital that it have like uh, for uh, lesions in the head. Uh, so they moved me at midnight. In midnight was midnight when I was in another ambulance towards the other hospital where I stay. And there they were like monitor. They were watching me and they were doing a lot of tests to see if I was uh, okay. So the next day, uh, kind of like in the afternoon, they told me that my brain was okay, but they were watching uh, my neck because I still was with pain in my neck. Um, so I'm gonna do an M MRI for my neck. And I do that test that they, uh, the second day I do that test around 4 p.m. 5.30 we finished the test and I come back and they were uh, tell me that they gonna somebody gonna bring me the results. Uh, nobody come that night. I cannot eat anything so I was two days already uh, no eat, no eat anything, no water. So I kind of, I was getting angry and kind of like I do not want to talk with people because I was really mad. Kind of like at midnight that night, uh, some nurse get into my room and tell me that I can take the color off, that I can eat something, she bring me food. She said that um, the tits, the MRI was okay. So I was happy. And she told me also that the next day I gonna go home. Next day, at morning, kind of like 10 a.m., the doctor come to my room and tell me why you don't have your color on. And I was like, well, the nurse tell me I can't take my color off because everything was okay. He said, no, you have put your color back. You, we signed the test like something don't look normal in your neck in the right side and, and it can be the nerves so you have used the color for two weeks two or three weeks more i was like i was in shock like what two or three more weeks i had to uh, i had to repeat again that please so he told me again and i was like Okay, so I was ready to ask you how long I had to wait to go to the gym to exercise. And he said, well, probably you can come back to the gym after three months. I was like, 
I mean, it, it, it was, I mean, I don't know what to think with, when he told me that, that two weeks using this thing, it was hard to believe now, three months, not going to the gym, it, it was hard to process. So then I had used this for two weeks. Today is my second day. It have been long days. This morning, well, last yesterday it was uh, really hard to to come back home. I didn't see my doggies for two days and a half. I didn't see Bucky also. Bucky was kind of scared. Like he don't know if I was me because this color, he don't recognize me. Um, hold on, my neck is... Um, it have been hard doing everything, like um, work. It was really hard to work. Uh, it feels like the right side is kind of paralyzed. Um, I last night when I went to bed, it was hard to figure out how I sleep. I don't know how to sleep with this. I had to Google and then they said that I had sleep all flat. And I do not like sleep like this. I usually sleep in the side. So it was really uncomfortable. I had to take uh, to melatonin, melatonin to just knock me out and fall asleep. Um, then I, I finally fall asleep. And this morning when I wake up, I was totally numb in all my right side, my fingers and my hand and all my arm, all long and also my little toe. And I get in, I, I, I get in panic. Um, I start crying. Um, I feel, I don't know how to explain it, how I feel. I feel that everything was falling in my feet, like everything was broke in pieces. Um, I get to lie, I went to lie because I won't feel better just talking with people in TikTok. Um, And then I just call it live and I sit down and just thinking that why it happened to me, like why I'm in this situation, like um then I just thought that I have to stop crying or be sorry for myself and more trying to be better like get better so i have been walking around home um try to feel better walking because it's kind of hard work like i told you i feel like like i paralyzed in the right side like I, it's hard to walk so i walk slow so i kind of have move a little bit um I guess Bucky's outside, so I'm going to see Bucky and I will be back. Man, Bucky's there! And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. Hi, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I 
So today is my uh, my second day at home, but it's my uh, what day to say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's my fifth day. My fifth day since the um, accident happened. Um, I feel like in pain, like. Um, I have a lot of pain in my neck and in my um, in my shoulders, kind of like in my back in the top. Sometimes I feel lower pain in my lower back, pain in my lower back, but I think it's a uh, I think it's for bad position because I cannot be comfortable with this color. Usually my lower back pain is uh, when I wake up or I have been in bed uh, lay down. Because my back is really curved, so when I lay down my back is curved and it hurts my back. I never sleep like this, I sleep to the side. So that really hurts really my lower back really bad. Like I wake up with a lot of pain. But I cannot sleep to the sides neither. So I have sleep straight. And I cannot uh, put my hands up. So it's because you saw my hair. <laughs> my beautiful hair. My nice hair today. <laughs> Um, I cannot put my hands up so I do whatever I can do but I cannot do too much with my hair um, this is really uncomfortable it's super uncomfortable it's painful uh, but I think it's a temporary pain while my nerve heal but it's gonna be I mean I don't want to think about how much long I'm gonna use this because it's gonna get me crazy but it's two weeks two weeks and I this is my second day so God please help me uh, at mornings I wake up like I cannot walk easily and once during the day I start walking more fast but usually I, I didn't walk as a normal walk uh, my first day here that was Wednesday uh, 
it was the first time I stand up since Monday. So I cannot lie, I was hardly walk. I cannot walk. Like I feel like my body was super heavy. My head was super heavy. And on Thursday, uh, I wake up with all my right numb. So that was really scary. Um, uh, I was really depressed that Thursday at morning I was really sad thinking a lot of things um, I can't try to calm down myself I take a hot shower because hot showers are good for circulation um, at the end of the day uh, I start feeling a little bit my my arm my hand because it was all this side my leg and my little toe it was numb totally numb it was in half it was totally numb I cannot feel this numbness here is kind of a little tiny that no no like Thursday that it was totally numb. It feels sometimes, I don't know if the position, I don't know if because I have been sit down for long, but it feels uh, a little bit tackily, tick, tick me. I don't know what you call that. Like, you know, when you feel that something gonna fall asleep. I wake up with pain in my chest today. Like this uh, horror. And, and I guess they told me that it, I'm gonna have sore my body because it's a delay, uh, how you say, yes, a delay symptoms after the uh, crash. They asked me a lot that day, they asked me, do you feel pain in your chest? You should feel, you sure you feel pain in your chest? And I was like, no, I do not feel pain at all because all my pain was in my back. I feel pain a, a lot in my all my whole back. So, uh, I try to work in my computer. And here, I'm going to try to um, do my videos for my channels. I hope guys that you keep um, uh, support my channels. I try to hit 1,000 subscribers in my fitness. I have a lot of videos. Uh, hold on. <sighs> workout videos. I have a lot of workout videos. So I had content to pause. Uh, thank God. Also, I had some videos for my blog too. So that is good. In TikTok, I had posted videos like this because it's the way that I look now, so I cannot change that. And in my other two platforms, um, I have some content, so I'm gonna try to do some short videos there so I can post at least uh, these two weeks. Once they take this, probably I can move better. I cannot come back to the gym yet. I wanna see what they say um, in two weeks, but they told me after two weeks you cannot go to the gym for three months. So we will see. Um, I used to lie this morning. I tried to share time with friends and TikTok, but I cannot do too much. Um, it is hard to keep sit down. So anyway, I'm going to start uh, working here on in my computer. Um, yeah, we will see. It. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, as you fade away.
Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's money Alright, <laughs> good morning uh, <clears throat> I try to fix my hair, but it is hard to pull my arms up So, just don't focus on my hair uh, I'm going to try to do uh, like respiratory exercises to help me with my um, with my core um, I wish gonna try if I can do it so uh, so I can keep on less like healthy or working my uh, abs so uh, I have constipation it's because you saw my belly really big here anyway what would I do? I had to uh, take the air I finished so I'm going to eat breakfast <coughs> um, I'm going to take a shower Alright, so let's go I just took a shower um, well, I try to look good, guys. But... All right, whatever. Boy. All right, so today is Saturday, and it's my third day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's my four days since I went out from the hospital. Last night, I. I don't know how it calls. I guess I get in a panic attack. I feel really numb on my upper body. I feel like dizzy. I feel like, I don't know, it was my pressure was low or something. I feel like I cannot walk. I feel like I'm gonna fall. I feel like I won't puke. I feel everything, I feel chill, I feel cold, my hands were really cold, everything in the same time. So I had to go lay down in bed and relax. Uh, I was crying. Kind of like I was depressed. Uh, I take I take a tablet for sleep. I do not want to take the tablet for pain because it caused me constipation. I'm constipated already. I really, I have taken that tablet one time, but I guess I'm constipated because uh, the drug in the hospital and it's really hard to be constipated. Um. I take a melatonin, kind of like melatonin, I feel like relax pretty good the body. And I told you that in life, that uh, I, the, before I took melatonin, because I was, I had cramps in my cough, and I think that if you have a, like, nerve damage or something it can cause cramps in your cough but my cramps were for um for lack of zinc because i do not eat red meat but anyway 
I found out that also melatonin can help you if you have a like a nerve damage can help you relax your body at night because relax your body and your nerves and then you kind of like you don't feel anything so when I took melatonin last night it kind of made me that like relax my body and I feel more comfortable with this and I kind of like I can fall asleep um so it's because i didn't do light yesterday i was thinking all day that i'm gonna do light at night uh a little bit but i really didn't feel that way like that good i feel really bad and i just won't go to bed i was really tired um I promised you a video yesterday, but I didn't finish that because when I almost finished that, when I was getting this kind of, uh, I don't know what was, like panic attack or I feel really bad. I was feeling so bad. Um, so I wake up this morning. I feel better last, than last night. Uh, and I can't try to post my video on YouTube. I did. I post my video this morning. Uh, I guess I cannot be sit down. Like if I am in the same position, I start feeling numb. Like if I lay down, I start feeling numb my right side. And if I sit down, I start feeling numb all my upper body. Like all my back, my shoulders, my neck, like all that part. Um, sometimes I feel now my lower back when I lay down. So when it happened, I kind of, I get in panic because I feel stressed. Like I, what, what I'm feeling this, like I, it gave me like, yeah, like I don't want to feel that way. So. Uh, usually when I have that, after I calm down, I go and take a hot shower. So you have problems with circulations, hot showers are pretty good. I stay in the hot shower for long, leave fall in my hair and everything. Kind of relax my body. Um, it don't come back my, like for my num numbness, you call it numbness, right away but you feel better like i feel i feel better and probably later uh the numbness like go away like since i get from the hospital this part it feels no like all my body it feels uh different if it's like a little bit numb, but not uh, at all, like not totally. Wednesday, Thursday, when I wake up, I was totally numb, totally numb. I didn't feel my fingers, my arm. I didn't feel all my right side. Sometimes I feel numb my face, like a, it's just right side. All, all my upper body. I really, I don't know if it's because I using this C color or because uh, it's part of the healing process, right? So uh, I, I thought that if I'm going to feel any numbness today, I definitely going to call my doctor at the hospital and ask him if it is normal. Um, but I do not want to come back to the hospital. So I try to tolerate everything I feel without call the hospital or the doctor because I do not want to come back to the hospital. I, I want to heal at home. Just because uh, it's more comfortable here, like 
uh, I had everything here, you know, like uh, I passed some bad times at the hospital uh, like there are good workers also there are people that they are not too good with people so I prefer to stay at home um, today I am planning to go live a little bit and say hi to my friends uh, I also planning to do my second video on YouTube uh this kind of sucks like post all my videos together because i'm gonna post if if i can i'm gonna post my other videos in the time like i usually post like tuesdays and thursdays so i feel that because i'm gonna throw these videos from the last week in this weekend i feel that it's going to hurt my views because they're gonna have this content and the next content on two centers like a uh, it's gonna hurt my views I feel that uh, but anyway I, I I want I want post my videos that I didn't post on Tuesday and Thursday I, I want to do this weekend and I try to do that I post one video today um, but like I told you it is hard to sit down when I put my computer higher my computer here is higher I put it in a box so it's higher um, because I cannot look down it, it hurts my, my neck I cannot uh, put to towards my uh, my body look go down I cannot go down and I cannot look side to side so uh, a horse a horse all the time go to bed it's the worst I think like, it's hard to sleep with this uh, but also worrying the computer um, I cannot take a shower with this so I had to take this out but nurse tell me promise me you don't gonna look right to side or up to down you're gonna have your head straight and take a shower so i had keep like really normal but all i cannot put my arms really up because it hurts my neck um i also had take this out for it because i, I I cannot eat, I mean, I cannot move my jaw and also my jaw was hurt, hurting at the hospital because I was laid down and this always was pushing my jaw so I was told and I felt pain in my uh, jaw this is the jaw, right? so I was feeling pain there in my thigh also I was feeling pain and in my right side, my face I, sometimes I told and I feel no my face but I cannot like I still don't know if it is because the color or because whatever I have in this moment that it had to heal they make an MRI and the MRI show that everything was good but in the right side something don't look like normal so it's because they uh bring me this for two weeks so today is my fourth day and yeah i will i will update you later guys i'm going to worry my computer um i try to do a vlog to show you um well what is going on? What is I know? What I know in in the platform we lives? Um, this definitely gonna hurt my wallet, and it gonna hurt my growing in my platforms, and it gonna hurt everything. Uh, but it's what it is, and um, we gonna think that this is something temporary. 
so in a few months i'm gonna be again doing everything that i was doing before so yeah i'm just thinking that every day um some people think that this is stupid but it is not stupid it is not stupid when you wake up and you feel numb your right side when you feel that you don't feel your arms when they tell you that you have to be careful because you can be paralyzed and you ask how i gonna how i gonna get to be paralyzed i mean how it is possible well things are possible and i hold my nerve in my right side on my neck and that is i waiting for heal so i cannot do any bad movement or any i cannot hold anything heavy because it can hurt me really bad so it's because i using this color and so this is not stupid uh this is something that i have to take really serious um yeah i i have seen some comments and it's funny because it's not from my followers but from for a friend and it kind of hurt but it's okay everybody can think different all right i don't know if i'm gonna put this in the video i have it it's not a good idea I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so...